let's take a look at uh, that list of top goal scorers uh, for the French squads because Olivier Giroud then sitting uh, well on top. Yeah. Uh, Karim, we look at this. There's three players in here still technically part of the squad if we include, of course, Karim Benzema, who's yeah. out injured. What does this say about Deschamps? What, what, I mean, this is a star generation. Yes, this is an, an incredible generation. And sometimes in France, we like to criticize. We criticize Giroud for not scoring at the 2018 World Cup. We criticize Benzema for like off the pitch um, stories. And we sometimes criticize Kylian Mbappe. Yes, it can seem incredible for being maybe too centric about himself and want and and the thing that he wants to to score as much goals as possible but still I mean, even when, when he see... doesn't quite reach the 10 out of 10 yes. on, on a game yeah, then yeah. the criticism just falls, falls down on him doesn't yeah it? but when you look at this list mm. of top scorers for France yes this is an incredible generation and you have to enjoy it and this is what's going on between the squads when you look yeah. at the two of love, them celebrating so much love. that <laughs> yeah we like those but it shows pictures. what's going on within within the squads which is so important it's yes. not just about the results either it's all sort of the energy behind yeah. it and everything they're bringing onto the pitch yes and maybe that was missing last year during the Euros sure. because of critics, critics from Olivier Giroud prior to the competition saying well Kylian Mbappé doesn't want to make the pass and we saw the results at the end with this early uh, elimination against Switzerland. So when you see those pictures, you can be confident for France because they they know how to play together. We didn't doubt about that, but there is a, a great winning spirit and it came back, I think, uh, after what happened last year at the Euros. So that's why, yeah, this is, this is good to see that and we know that France can go maybe up to the to title. We hope so here in France. But this is... Uh, a great a, a great thing to see, I think, to see Kylian Mbappe and Olivier Giroud together. And you can include other offensive players as well. And we talk about Mbappe. I mean, he's not in the top five. He's seventh actually right now with yeah. 33 goals. He's only 23 years old. He's only. got that potential, I mean, sitting where he is now, to smash that record, hasn't he? Obviously, record after record, Kylian Mbappe breaks the milestones each and every time with PSG and with the French national team. He has so many goals, so many FIFA World Cup goals. Nine in the World Cup so far. Nine in the World Cup so far. I think he's the second best in, for France, I think, in the history in the World Cup. Imagine that at age 23, and we know that if he continues on this path, he will do like Messi or Ronaldo of four, five World Cups. So imagine the massive records he could break in the future. But to stay in the present time, we see that each and every time we want to rely on Mbappe is there. And that was the case tonight, today, sorry. And today I remarked that he was calm. Mm. The two goals, so he calm. analyzed composed. the situation, yeah. it was composed, it looked he looked at the the, uh, the Polish players. Say, okay, I have to do that gesture and then to strike that way, yeah. and that's impressive. And he's more and more mature. We know that that's he's it. mature for a while, it's, but it's maturity, he's more and more isn't maturity. It? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's more and more mature. It's that, incredible. That's just Twenty-three incredible. years old, and you see it that. It seems kind that he's here forever on the pitch. because he, 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 he started playing in professional, like maybe at age, at, uh, age seventeen or eighteen. It seems that he, he's. He's there forever. He's been forever. 